Hey, hey, I'm a rapper. <laughs> Fuck this. Chill, guys, what are you saying? How you doing? Um, this is another sit down talk video on this channel. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, I feel like I want to. Okay? Alright? Nah, the reason why I'm actually doing this is because when things hit my mind, I feel like it could change another, pers uh, another person's perspective. It can change another person's outlook on life. It can help people. When I feel like that's necessary, then I will do these videos. And also, if you haven't checked it out, check out Soul Rick. I'll be doing a lot of videos on there. A lot of interesting videos. So, go and check it out. 100. It's the best. So, what I want to talk about is rooftops. And why they've slowly but surely slipped away from my lifestyle. And not to a point where I'm not doing it at all whatsoever. Because, of course, I still do kind of do that stuff. But not to an extreme. And why that is, you ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. So, I was climbing around three to four years ago. That's when I fully started climbing. And, and I started doing all these like crazy sunset missions. And my life was at its peak then, back then. And I was thoroughly enjoying it, it was, it was insane. And I was young, of course. Young, stupid, and dumb. What I was doing wasn't dumb, but why I was doing it, after a while of doing it, was dumb. And why? Well, because I was doing it for the enjoyment, the thrill, and I love taking pictures and showing you guys what my life was like through a camera, through an eye, through a different eye, a 3D eye as I like to call it. And as I was doing that, it got to a point where I was rushing to do it. I was wanting to do it. Like that's the only thing I needed to do. I needed to escape my life. I needed to escape my, my surroundings. And this, this is where the issue lies. Now, you should never feel like you need to escape your surroundings. You need to dip. You, you're feeling unhappy. You need something. You need a buzz to make you feel high again. Now, that is the wrong type of feeling. That is feeding the dopamine release that never gives you fulfilling happiness. It never gives you that. It just leads to more depression, more upset, more anxiety. And the reason why that is, you're probably thinking, how can climbing rooftops and stuff... Uh, you know, lead to anxiety and blah, blah, blah. It's not just rooftops, this is everyday lifestyle. And people seem to think that just climbing rooftops is their life, or parkour is just their life. You're living in such a crazy, diverse universe. And you need to wake up and realize that. That's one thing that you got to have. So yeah, it got to a point where I was just doing rooftops because I was just doing them. Or I needed another Instagram post. I needed those 2,000 likes. I needed those, you know, followers. I need them, I need them. Yeah, shout, shout, shout out kind of shit. Shut up, mate. Listen, I got addicted to the social media side. I got addicted to what life was like on the phone. And that literally was that was something that was leading to my biggest downfall and oh gosh I felt it the ego got it everything especially when Instagram you know stopped all their uh, influences from getting out there and you had to pay blah, blah blah to get your stuff out there where I was throwing I was throwing parts of myself away whilst doing this and I got too addicted to it and it got to a point where I had to I had to fall I had to fall to realize and now some people would fall and carry on falling because they're not picking up the lesson that you need to learn from that. And that's, this is my lesson, of course. That's why I'm giving you my you know, insight on my lessons in my life. And hopefully it will help change your style of living. And you know, you'll actually feel happy and peace and contentment. But yeah, and I felt kind of just like I'm losing everything. I've lost it. My life was so good back then. Now what's happened? Blah, blah, blah. It's because it was good back then because I was chasing the dopamine release. And every time I was getting it. Now I'm not getting it and it's gone. I've grown up and I'm getting older. My brain's looking for something else. Is when I realized that you don't need to keep chasing that dopamine release. You don't need to keep chasing people. You don't need to keep chasing this. You don't need to. When realistically, it is all here. And again, I'm saying it again. It's all within. It is all within here. It starts within here. And I don't know if you guys saw my other video of talking, but... I found myself in the own space of my own fucking living room, my house, my, my home. I wasn't finding myself doing all this sort of stuff, you know, climbing, ju jumping, all that stuff. That was fun and that was character building, that was amazing and I met some amazing people and I still know them to this day and I still speak to them. And that is what I'm thankful for. You must appreciate everything that you were given and, and everything that you have lost. You must appreciate because there's always a lesson to learn within this little life we live. I say little, but it's massive. Um, and yeah, I was just chasing some crazy thing that I thought would, would fulfill me. 
and I realised it wasn't and I was coming back to these problems and I kept coming back to them even though I thought that that was, you know, going to get rid of them but realistically it's not, you've got to fight your demons every single day and you've got to set them to the side. You've got to understand that we are a soul, we are a spiritual soul experiencing human experience and you've got to realise this, once you realise this you can then start the healing process, you can start going in, you can start understanding it, you can let go of your brain. People live inside, I see, after doing all this sort of like, I, I guess you'd call it therapy, but I'd call it finding myself. After realising all this stuff, you see so many people living inside their heads. You can actually let go of your brain, it's unbelievable, it's such an amazing feeling. And meditation helped that quite a lot, but you can let go of your brain, you can absolutely wipe away all these stupid thoughts because they aren't you your thoughts are not you okay your house is not you the material the items they are not you put them to a side simple once you realize these simple things guys you can really progress and move on with your journey and i'm not talking about this physical journey i'm talking about the whole experience the soul where you go the journey the path that you are you have been led follow the right path guys and you'll be all right. You must trust the process, man, and it's such, an, it's such a generic saying, but it's there for a reason and it's true. Trust the process, believe in yourself. All these self-doubts that come in your head, let them go, man. You don't need to chase this to get this, okay? You don't need to do that. You bring it towards you. You have a happy abundance. You have the abundance to bring it towards you. Bring the abundance to you, happiness. Bring it towards you by being happy. Staying positive. Negative thoughts come in, let them go. Any thoughts come in, let them go. Do that sometimes by meditating. I've realized by doing all these crazy things, it was just an escape for me, okay? And a lot of people will say, yeah, it's good, it's good that you're escaping. Yeah, it is fun, it is nice, it is nice to go and see stuff. But treat it as a treat, not an escape. Because why do you need to escape your life? There's something wrong then, isn't there? There's obviously something wrong that you need to escape from. Why do you need to escape from yourself? Why do you need to escape from your surroundings? If that's so, change your surroundings. If you want to change them, you can. You have the power, everybody does. But there's so many things that tell us not exactly. Ignore them and you will get so far. And now the thing what I'm trying to say is now is there is obviously something wrong if you're trying to escape. Now escapism, why do you want to escape? Ask yourself these questions. I have and I'm building on it. I'm, I'm getting rid of all these negative thoughts, these negative feelings, the things that I want to run away from. I'm standing in front of their fucking faces and punching them to the point where they can't see no more. Because I, you, are pushing forward and moving forward. Simple. That is how it should be for you and your well-being. And people around you will see that. People will see you glow. People will see you explode. They will not recognize you because you were so high to the point where like, who is this person? Who is this beautiful soul that has come out of its fucking cage, man? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, do it. It's so sick. I love speaking to you guys because I'm just so passionate about it. I'm passionate about everything. I just want to fucking help so many people realize this because it's so sick. It's an amazing feeling. When you know, I'm, look at me, man, I'm tingling. I got the spiny tingle because I know. And once you know yourself, man, it's just, it's just, ah, oh, it's just amazing. It's just amazing and you know that you're going to be alright and that's it, that's it, no matter what comes at you, you can break any wall down because you are the wall. Oh! I'll see you guys later, I've hopefully, um, so yeah, I realised I was just chasing some something stupid that weren't really fulfilling my happiness, it starts within you, it starts with trusting yourself, love your fucking self you little pussy, love yourself, pussy boy. I'll see you guys later, much love.